Hey everyone, have you ever wondered how your book gets returned? Follow us today and find out. The two departments that help with book returns are circulation and D&D, &D, or delivery and distribution. Let's go check out circulation and see what they do when a book gets returned. <laughs> Now we're going to talk to Allison, who works in the circulation department, about what she does to help books get returned. Hi, I'm Allison. Welcome to Central Circulation. When you bring a book to return it, we take it and we tell you to put it in the silver wall slot. And we get your book and we place it on the cart here for it to be quarantined for four to seven days. But before COVID, we used to use the book shoot. Let's take a walk. And down the shoot we go. Bye bye. Welcome back to the basement. The basement is also where delivery and distribution do their jobs and help us get our book returns back on the shelf. Let's go see what they're doing. I'm TJ Jackson here at the uh, Central Library here. This is our dock here area. Uh, dock door number four, dock door number three. This is our North Lane over on this side. Pop White, Cordova, Barlett, Crenshaw, Gaston, South, and Levi. Over here, Cossack Branch Library is not open right now. We've been storing their boxes or staging their boxes for them so that when that does occur, it'll be a smooth operation. Trucks are pulling up, we load up, and we get them to our branch library. Over here, it's going to be our dock door where our tractor trailer trucks come. Our big semi tractor trailer trucks pull up to this dock where we have a lift. This is our lift that we use to bring in most of the deliveries that are. Also, this pallet here, these two pallets that are staged on the dock is for our city's animal shelter. We deliver there when we need to. When, when they contact us, we, we make deliveries uh, there to get the newspapers and things for, for the dogs out there, okay? This particular area here is our delivery distribution storage area. As you can see, you have your dollies and your um, soft power um, extra over here. Our floats are kept here as well. Uh, boxes for supplies when branches order. Behind you are the Jacksonville carts. The Jacksonville carts are used to transport quite a few books throughout the library and the branch libraries, I'm, I'm assuming, whenever they're needed. We just keep a lot of things here. I'm sure this is probably one of the areas that a lot of people didn't know existed. This is our mail room. Here in our mail room, we have shelving units or boxes or slots for all of our inter, interdepartmental mail. And this is our interlibrary loan area where Tasha Beer Proctor uh, handles all of the uh, interlibrary loan material in here as well. We're going to go over here to the writing room. Regina's going to go down to the chute with you to show you where the books are retrieved from the chute and she might take you to the book drop. Hey, my name is Regina Holmes. I'm from D&D. I'm the clerk. 
uh, slash soda room clerk. And this is what we do down here. I'm gonna start with the circulation things. Circulation, since everything is getting um, quarantined for the four days, we receive books from them. Matter of fact, here's two trucks that they have ready for me now. And what they do is like whatever they receive that day, they load it up on the truck and they bring it to the book drop by the end of the day. Each one of these, um, each department is, you know, it's like each department, like history, science, children, fiction, and humanity. Is children's one of the areas that always has a lot? Yes. <laughs> so we have to make sure that we have extra shelves for like Thursday and Friday. We just, we was at the lunch <laughs> morning, so we have to make sure they both get three. And usually when I get here, I go down to the shoe and see what's ready for me in the beginning. Sometimes we get donations and they load it up and we just have to bring it down and box it up. <laughs> This is the sun bar. This is the um, the sheet. Okay. And so what I do is right now, see they got some things down here ready for me. And most of the time I either take the sheet, got food, or you can load in the truck. If it ain't heavy, you can load it up on the truck if you don't wanna put a whole bin in. We separate everything branches. We don't have to scan. We just go ahead and throw it in the bin. Cause it's ready for them to load in it out there. Okay. And then we just put everything out of the department, hang on the table, and then we ready to take it off and load it up. Yeah. Everything that when it fills up on the truck, then we take everything up to the department and drops them off. A huge thank you to Allison, Regina, TJ, and William. It's a great day here in delivery and distribution. Now that you've learned what happens when a book gets returned, if you're interested in learning more about libraries, we've got books for you. How a library works. Library Mouse, Home Sweet Home. L is for library. And the library. Come check them out. Thank you so much for joining us this time. I hope you enjoyed learning about what happens when a book gets returned. Stay tuned for the next episode and we'll see you then.